And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV everyone, this is Keith once again and I'm going to have to eat a few of my words. In a previous video where we talked about the potential for RX Vega and mining, I had made the comment that I didn't anticipate the mining performance to be much improved over the Fury X, say somewhere around the ballpark of 37 to 39 uh, mega hashes per second when referring to something like ethereal mining. However, word has slipped out um, as reported over on video cards that uh, well it looks like this um, Vega RX Vega 64 and 56 may be some of the best and most incredible mining GPUs ever created with closing in on 100 mega hashes per second in Ethereum and that's enormous that's threefold faster than the 10 a or 1070 when it was um, set up for Ethereum mining and that's incredible that's that's nuts if you're in the mining market not so much if you're in the gaming market and you're hoping to get your hands on one of these for gaming so the report is saying somewhere between 70 and 100 mega hashes per second so what we want to do is I'm actually gonna pull up an ethereum mining calculator and we're gonna have this on screen as we go through here and this 47 and 318 um, this is just a placeholder here what we're gonna do for this is we're gonna uh, go to zero power consumption there so that we're seeing the it says well let's say profit this is gonna be mining performance because the power consumption is gonna be variable and we don't know the power consumption of the RX Vega 56 and 64 cards exactly we know their TDP but we don't know their the actual final power draw so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at several different cards here we're gonna look at the Fury X a 1070 and a 480 as well as what the Vega 64 could do so the the Fury X if overclocked and set up you can get upwards to around 31 mega hashes so at 31 mega hashes that is two dollars and eleven cents a day okay so not very impressive so two two eleven per day or 63.40 a month, $63.40 per month. Now that's not accounting for the cost of the card and the cost of the power. So let's look at the 1070 setup is going to do you roughly the same. So it's going to get you 31 mega hashes or 211 a day or 63.40 a month. Now the RX 480 is steadily losing power when we first started. A custom one could get you 29 which netted you around the dollar ninety eight per day and thirteen eighty four per week but right now it's dropped down to roughly twenty seven so that's gonna get you a dollar and eighty four cents a day or fifty five twenty two a month fifty five twenty two a month so this is where mining is kind of killing people right now is because the price has dropped or not necessarily the price forgive me for that the difficulty has risen so much that it's per day becoming very difficult and those cards are all around the price of the Vega 64 when it, or not Vega 64 but the Vega 56 when it launches um, so let's go on the low side let's say 70 let's say it's 70 what does that get you 70 that is four dollars and 77 cents a day so 70 is four seventy seven a day or 143 dollars and 16 cents a month now, mind you, you would have to you'd have to go for a few months, at least three months, to get your money back on that. Then that's kind of the numbers that we were at when this boom started. But let's say if we're upwards to a hundred, where does that one hundred that gets you six eighty two a day, or two hundred and four dollars per month? So, yeah, that's that's insane and that may very well likely kick off people on a mining craze again but specifically with the RX Vega card so I'm personally kind of hoping this isn't the case when it comes out I'm hoping that it's a little bit less or a lot less than that because that is incredible if that is what it is I mean it's an insane power rate but I'm kinda of hoping that it doesn't for the sake of gamers out there everywhere um, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments on this so feel free to drop a line down in the comments and We'll have a discussion down about there. And uh, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. And if you found this video entertaining or informative or saddening in the least, feel free to like, subscribe, and we will catch you guys all in the next video.